Hey, hello everyone. So on today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Armbian on a Orange Pi PC. So you need a few things before you start. You'll need to get the image of the Armbian operating system, which is on this website. You'll need a free program called Vanilla Etcher to write the operating system image of Armbian on your micro SD card and you need to buy a micro SD card reader this is a pretty good one uh, this has a USB 3.0 interface and you can connect your micro SD card to this and you could use a 32 megabyte I mean gigabyte or a 64 gigabyte micro SD card to write your uh, image of Armbian OS. So if you don't have this already, you can download it from this website. And I'll leave it all in the video descriptions below. So you go to Armbian's website and find the one for Orange Pi PC, which is this one right here. And then when you click on it, it's going to start downloading. I think it's this file right here. Let me go there now. Let me show you exactly which one it is. I think this is light version. This is the heavier version with a GUI interface or graphical user interface. You could Click on direct download and you can download either one. If you don't want the GUI interface, you could download this light version. It's up to you. But for me, I'll be downloading the desktop version. I already downloaded it into my computer. Now, if you download it, it should be right here. That's where all the downloaded files go to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start um, Vanilla Etcher. It writes the image of the operating system on there. For first, I had I need to connect my micro SD card reader into a USB 3.0 port. I have something on there, but I'm just going to write over it. So I'm going to start Vanilla Etcher again. Go to this PC and find out where that drive is. It's in iDrive. Select the file that I want to copy. It's right here. This is the one I want to copy. Okay. I'm going to select the micro SD card. Make sure you select the right one because it's going to write everything over it and everything that was on it will be deleted. So it's iDrive for, for me. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to flash it. Yes. It's going to take several minutes for it to complete, and after that, it's going to verify it. Okay, now it's uh, it finished copying the image. Now it's just going to verify it. This will take less than a minute for you to do if you have a faster. Your, uh, micro SD card reader it's going to take less time like the one that I have I tried different um, operating systems for the orange pie like Ubuntu uh, Raspbian Android and they didn't seem to work very well 
the only one that I found um, to work well for the Orange Pi was uh, the Armbian operating system. Now it's verifying it, it finished, and, and now I could just eject the micro SD card. And now I'm going to go to my computer, my uh, single board computer, and turn it on. Now I started the Orange Pi PC with the micro SD card in it. It's asking for a root password. Just repeat it again, same password. Okay, I'm going to add something else. Then. It has to be longer than that. Repeat it again. Now it's asking for a username. Um, I'll just create my screen, use my screen name. Your first name, John. User password. And repeat the password to confirm it. John Doe. No. One fifty four to skip it. One fifty four. Okay, now RBN has started, so uh, first thing you want to do is right click with the mouse, go into terminal, and type in sudo app get update. It's going to ask you for your password, just type it in. Press enter. And the next thing you want to do after that is sudo app get upgrade. This could take a while. I already did it beforehand, so. It went quickly, so after this, just press exit to get out.
you could access everything from the top left corner. There's a, I don't know if you can see that or not. Top left corner, um, you could access the browser, the internet browser. There it is. That's the default browser for Arbion. Just go to Google and search whatever you want. Let's go to Arbion Download. This is a site where I downloaded Armbian. Okay. See where task manager is. We got FileZilla. We have a lot of programs in here because we got the desktop version. There's Office applications. Here's task manager. This will show us how much resource are being used and the network function is at the top left right I'm sorry Let's see all that the Raspberry Pi I mean um, the Orange Pi PC does not have Wi-Fi But if you get a USB Wi-Fi dongle or a Wi-Fi USB uh, device, you could get Wi-Fi. You could change the resolution here on displays. Right now, for me, it's at 1080p. You could change it to whatever you want. But I'm just going to leave it at this. And you want to go to terminal and uh, run something called Armbian config. You have to type in sudo Armbian dash config. It's going to ask for your password again. Here you could uh, make some changes. You could do uh, Earlier I didn't change the time zone and language. You just go here and do that. You change the time zone here. If you have not already, I live in uh, North America, so America. And I live in the West Coast, so the time zone would be Los Angeles. Locales. I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to skip it because I don't know. We have the keyboard layouts here. You could change that. For me, it's generic 105 keys. And for me, it's US English. 
it's US. Just click on that default. No. And it's going to configure the layout of your keyboard. Icons that are open right now. I'm gonna close that. This is where you can make changes to your hardware on a Arbian config. Let me get out of here. Just left and right to change back. Go to system. You could change the hardware settings here. You could uh, configure SSH. You could install a bootloader and do whatever you want. Change the clock speed. And make hardware changes here. back I don't want to make any changes here but this is where you can make the hardware changes you can change network settings here I don't have Wi-Fi in this thing so you could change the Wi-Fi settings here if you want You could also use a mouse as well. So I'm going to exit out of here. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, you could leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. By East 1000KS 1975 signing out. So here I could just log out, I'm just going to shut it down. You could log out, restart, or like what I did, shut down, okay? Thanks for watching.